What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Today we continue our assault on Castle Telpea. Now, I don't like all these guys encroaching upon my position, so I'm just going to fly my Seraph away. She's good, but I... Well, I mean, if nothing else, I don't want her to be encountering a whole bunch of people. She's done her job, I just want her to rest at this point. You're supposed to be going after Well, whatever. Let's switch it up. You can go after him. What's this unit actually look like? Okay. That should hopefully be something my Freyas can deal with. Or at least repel. Nice, so we face them sideways and now all of a sudden the ogre is in the back room. So their most threatening target is uh, restricted in how many attacks it can get. Although that is still not good. What I'm going to do is let them attack, down goes the Black Knight, and we will retreat. The tactic that I, I've got never actually used before this playthrough, but it's honestly very much comes in handy. Okay, well you run back to base, rest your, yourself up. Uh, Where's Destin? Who accompany these fine fellows up here? Oh, jeez, these guys are chasing you down. Well, you you run back to base for now. Looks like they got some guys flying over the walls themselves. Why are you flying over that way? Flying, you know, it's gonna be so unpredictable sometimes. So weird the way the the like extreme over the head camera angle that you usually end up using. It don't it sometimes it makes it look like you're you're literally on top of the wall. Kind of strange. Okay, now turn around. Go after him. Looks like these guys are gonna go straight for our headquarters, or apparently they do, don't feel like going through the gate. Okay, well, whatever. Wow. These guys are so threatening. And by threatening, I mean annoying as heck. Hmm. Swordmaster did more damage than my dragoon to that guy. And that guy weird. Well, uh, whatever. It doesn't make any difference. All three of my great sword users, or all four of them if you count Destin as well, are pretty ridiculous whatever way you look at it. I guess Debonair counts as well, but I, I have a little bit of difficulty counting him just because you can't actually change his weapon. Wow, 51 damage, that's actually a lot. I mean, that's a lot of damage for me to be taking. I 
Why couldn't you petrify the stupid gremlins? I don't care about the Hawkman, they'll die in like two hits. Apparently, this Deanna was not listening. Uh, might as well head drop. Okay, well, oh, that's hitting the Hawkman too. Okay, well, that worked fairly well. Die? No. Okay. Well. That could have gone better. I mean, that's not to say that it went badly, but it could have gone better. Let's go Serafina shot at this, these guys now. Biatch doesn't need to have all the fun. Sadly, Europia is unable to reach the enemy leader. But he's... wow, 101 damage. That's pretty good. That's not even my Deanna with the, uh, croissant. Or the Jiglias bow. Gee, that's the bow of Tundra? Wow, my uh, Deanna is getting kind of torn apart there a little bit. That dragon uh, did actually put a number on me. Totila! Okay, well, let's just use a heal pack and be done with it. Now let's send Destin and Magnus over to this rest spot. Send Aqua back up this way. The stone guy is in the way! No, it's not. I wonder what the Brian Ack would look like if it was Troy holding it. Because he, like, holds it, like, uh, horizontally and over to the side. Everyone else holds it kind of, like, down. Handily dealt with. Another Naga Ring. You know, considering how few people can actually use accessories, they should give you a lot of them. Like, aside from ca casters, are like basically the only ones who actually use accessories. I I think Black Knights might be the only melee guys who use accessories. So I don't know why they give you so many melee accessories. Accessories. Level up. Bentisca. I would send you up to the front line now, Orwell, but you're rather fatigued, so let's not do that. Here's all the guys coming in on them, but I'm not afraid of you. Do your worst. You'll die all the same. Hey, I go first. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, block your attack. And then he gets hit twice. There are more guys coming in after this, so I should probably use a heal leaf on Magnus. Dowsing Rod. Okay. Number two. Flare Bass. Flare Brass. There is an R there. And there's also a Flare Brass in the back row. Would have been funny if both of my Deanna's had crit and the Flare Brass had died. Such luck is uncommon there. No, why... Why do you choose now to hit the front row guys? Oh well, it's not like it makes much difference. Oh geez, there's two guys still left? Okay, I thought there was only one. I guess... I miscounted. So, my plan was to just have Destin go after the last one, but I guess, uh... Well, we can certainly have Destin go after one of them. But, uh, yeah. So, since Magnus still has more fight left, pack it is. Hopefully that sinks doesn't cause any problems. That's uh, a pretty good time to put stuff to sleep. That is, could not have gone much better than it did. That makes me happy, because sphinxes make me sad. The funny thing is, like, you can get your own Sphinxes, but they are they never seem to be quite as good as the enemy Sphinxes, for some reason or other. Why you sideways, Destin? Why you sideways? Put her to sleep. Thank you. Blurg. That's the one thing about Saradin. He, he uses level 1 magic in the middle row. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I hate gremlins so much. They're just so annoying. Why do you have to resist everything? It's like they're not good at anything except for annoying the hell out of you. Whether they're dodging or resisting or something. Oh well, I guess I should just be happy that I almost entirely wiped out the enemy unit even despite having faced it sideways. No, not feet. Serfina. After this dude. Oh, another Sphinx. Something tells me this won't end well. Holy crap! Just about one shot my princess. Ah, crap. 
And here I thought my guys would get another attack and it would all be fine. That's, that's what I get for pushing the, the limit. Oh well. I got plenty of altars of resurrection, so... Stupid sphinxes. Well, I'm probably not going to need Serafina for my push anyways. It's... It doesn't stop it from being incredibly annoying, though. Okay, well. So. Magnus push up there. Let us have Destin join him. And Aqua. Uh, actually, there's something to find over here, so let's go do that before anything else. Oh, well, there's some wind armor there. Uh, I don't really care about that. Down they go. And now, you push this side. Huh, see that you actually got there first. That was unexpected. Eh, <laughs> you got two shot. Those are Saturos, I mean, they're, there are no slouches in the physical department. Sure, kill the petrified guy. That's a logical course of action. Whoa, 256. Nice stuff. Yay, some manis. That's so like, geez, like thirty seems to go by this point. At least when we got our first some manis. I mean, those things have been obsolete for so long by this point. I mean, you can buy them. Shouldn't have any issue killing off all these guys with our third round of combat. Down they go. Ooh, well, there's a little bit more combat than I expected in this uh, middle area of the castle. But with that, I'm going to leave you here for today on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Catch you later.